Alexis K. Tyler, Vagina Power, and I'm here with Soul Pitch Street Wire, Vagina Power 2010. I'm Alexis K. Tyler. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. This is my first time in the Big Apple, New York City. Uh, it's Saturday, uh, April 10th, 2010. And I'm doing uh, part one of the metaphysics of fucking lecture. Now he got to make me pretty before I go up there. So right now I'm getting my makeup done. And then I'm going to put me on some clothes. And try to get it together the best I can. So I can drop it like it's hot in NYC. Vagina power and penis power and sperm power. We're taking spiritual sexuality to a whole new level today. We're gonna thank the ancestors. We're gonna do libations to the ancestors. I always do that and give thanks for them because they gave birth to me. They're the reason why I'm here. So we're gonna do that with prayer. And of course I have to thank New York City for welcoming me, for supporting me, and thank everybody for making this happen, because I didn't make this happen by myself. And if it wasn't for the fans making me popular, because I haven't had a lot of mainstream media attention yet. So um, it's been the streets, you know, they made me hot in the streets. And New York is, has been banging me really hard since 2006. So it's because of their love and their support of me. They supported me harder than my own hometown, the ATL. So I had to drop it here first. When you deal with metaphysics, you are dealing with spiritual forces, the, the, the meta forces that drive the third dimensional sex act. I'm trying to show women that we are goddesses and in our men we are gods. So whether it's gay, straight, lesbian, bi, it really doesn't matter. Every time you have a sex act, it is a spiritual act. And we need to know that so we move from a place of power to enlighten ourselves with the sex act instead of just, just having ejaculations and sexual gratification. So we can change the way that we have sex instead of just fucking. Half of my fan base is men. So about 50% of my fan base, a lot of men thank me because they learn from me and they humble themselves and they're not intimidated and they don't have an ego problem to... Um, open themselves up to be educated from a woman. And then there are a lot of them that actually hate me because they say that I'm breaking the game. I'm, I'm dropping secrets, I'm telling on they dirty low down ass. Goddamn ejaculating and damn spreading sperm. A lot of my fans will not only write me, but they'll give me their phone number and they say, will you please call me? I need to talk to you. I can't talk to my mother or my mama boyfriend trying to fuck me or I'm screwing my dad out, I don't know what to do, or, you know, my mama beat me, and she just don't know, you know, so tired of her beating me, she out of town right now, but when she come back, I'm gonna kill her damn ass, I'm like, no, no, uh-uh, call me now. This is an extension of my nonprofit organization, the Center for Healing and Transformative Studies, because it was designed to empower people, abuse women, abuse men, abuse children, who feel powerless, and are living their lives from a place of weakness and brokenness and teaching them how to recover and heal and gain their power back. So that's what my show is all about, truth and uh, empowerment and giving people tools to learn how to heal and to take their power back and be the best that they can be.